Hello everybody, welcome to Transy Learning Chemistry videos. Today we'll be discussing about redox reactions and in that we'll be covering the practice problems related to rules for assigning and steps for calculating oxidation numbers. This is the third video regarding the practice problems. So let's see what all questions we'll be covering in this video. The first question, calculate the oxidation number of sulfur in potassium alum. So the first step is to write the oxidation number of each and every element. So this is K A L S O four hold twice and then we have twelve H T O. So the oxidation number of the potassium will be plus one because this is a group one element that is it is an alkali metal and the oxidation number of the aluminum is plus three because it belongs to the uh, group 13th of the periodic table so the oxidation number of the sulfur will take it as X because we need to find that and the oxidation number of oxygen will be minus two uh, this is as per the rule four mentioned here and uh, then we need to find the oxidation number of water as such the oxidation number of water is zero but how and why I'll show you here here I'm writing the formula of water so if we take individual atoms uh, we have two atoms of hydrogen and one atom of oxygen and if we consider the rule 6 as per the rule 6 in covalent compounds the non-metal with higher electronegativity has a negative oxidation number and the non-metal with lower electronegativity has positive oxidation number so the electron negativity of oxygen is far more as compared to hydrogen so oxygen will have a negative oxidation number while the hydrogen will have a positive oxidation number and then as per the rule 3 in non-metals the oxidation number of hydrogen is plus 1 so we will take it as plus 1 and as per the rule 4 the oxidation number of oxygen is minus 2 so I will take it here as minus 2. Now uh, if we calculate this, uh, the oxidation number of hydrogen is plus 1 and there are two atoms so the total positive charge will be plus 2 that of hydrogen and the total negative charge that is of oxygen is minus 2 so plus 2 and minus 2 will nullify each other because the positive charge is equal to the negative charge so the overall charge or the net charge on water molecule will be zero so now uh, we have written the individual oxidation numbers now it's time to uh, find the sum of the oxidation number of all the elements as per the step 2 so here the oxidation number of potassium is 1 and it has one atom the oxidation number of of aluminum is 3 and there is just one atom and here I am writing it 2 because in uh, outside the bracket we have 2 and the oxidation number of sulfur is X and we just have one atom and the oxidation number of oxygen is minus 2 and we have four atoms plus 12 into oxidation number of water which is 0 so this is 1 plus 3 plus 2 and then we have X minus 8 plus 0 so this is 4 plus 2x minus 16 so this comes out to be 2x minus 12 now as per the third step we need to check whether it is a neutral compound or a polyatomic ion we cannot see any net charge on this potassium alum so the net charge of potassium alum is zero as per the uh, step four I will write the net charge on the potassium alum on the right hand side and the sum of the oxidation numbers on the left hand side on solving this we get 2x equals to 12 and x will come out to be plus 6 so the oxidation number of sulfur in potassium alum is plus 6 part 1 ends here you can watch the second part to view other questions in this video